Pastor, well, at first I started to bring the gifts and sit them up here and in front of the church and have the kids come up. But I, I didn't really want, I didn't want to, the gifts themselves to be the focus because that's really not what it's about. Most of you know that I've been doing this for years. I just come give them out and I go home. But the reason I asked Pastor, because I wanted the world to know that with all that has gone on this past year, all the struggles, all the fights, all that this church has been going through and the man that God has been standing in his place and defending the church, I want everybody to know that there's love in here. There's love in this church. There's power in this church. And the children, and, and in a minute, we're going to give them up. <laughs> Last night I came home from work. I've been working a lot of hours. And I came in the house, and my assistant, I'm going to call her now, Deborah was there. So when you see these bags coming in, I didn't have anything to do. Deborah, come up here for a second, would you please? I didn't have anything to do with that. She, I came in, she had all those bags, and I was dead tired. I came in there, and, and there she was preparing all those gifts. But I want to share one last thing before I come down, because going back a couple of weeks now, we were having dinner together at my house, and she was going through some things with her sleep and, and all that. And I, I shared something with her that I don't even think I've told Pastor over the years. Many of y'all remember Pastor told the story when, um, when they first came to the church. I don't think they were married yet. And he said, you know, all the, how the women used to come, and sometimes they'd call Mother Manning, at, you know, and they'd tell her all these stories. And you remember Pastor said that he, he told Mother Manning, he said, listen, if somebody calls you 3 o'clock in the morning, That's right. turn over and go back to sleep. Okay. So I was telling her, I was telling Deborah, I said, you know, I've used that as a principle for years, years. Now, I don't know if you know what it's like to not be able to sleep at night, but I have. I've tossed and turned, I've worried, I've had many sleepless nights. But as I began, I call it the Mother Manning principle, by the way. That's good. Um, and I've applied it to my life. And it's no mistake that Pastor said there's peace in here this morning because I have peace in my life because I follow the man of God. So as we give out these, um, these gifts today, I want, to, I want it to be on that wise that, you know, I'm able to do that because I've listened to my pastor, I listened to my leader, my life has gotten stronger because of it, and, um, and I got this beautiful woman standing next to me. <laughs> but I'm not through yet. I gotta give out something else today. Well, what is it? You know, she, she said to me last night, she said, you know, it's been, I don't know, women always keep dates and stuff like that. I don't keep, she said it's been three months. I said, three months of what? That we've been seeing each other. But I can tell you, I couldn't keep track of that time. And I realized that even though it's been a short while, that it seems like it's been much, so much longer. And the reason it seems that way is because She makes it me, she makes it easy for me to love her. All praise the Lord. Loving you, loving you for me is as easy as breathing. It's just so natural, and I'm so glad that God has brought you into my life. And with that being said, Deborah, love Carter. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. Thank you.